keep your hands to yourself. That's an outrage. He is back, and there are certain <laughs> reports that say he's better than ever. <laughs> the fabulous Bruno. Tony, welcome back. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. I'm the only person that seems to take vacation. I mean, I do post a lot of pictures of my vacation, and I... There's a thought out there, is that, is that bad or good? I mean, I don't take pictures of myself. You know how like, you see people with the cell phones, yeah. and they hold their arms all the way out, turn the phone around and try it. Even couples, they're like everywhere, and I'm like, who does that, really? Why don't just ask somebody to take a picture of you? And that's what I do. I don't take pictures of myself, except in the mirror sometimes when somebody asks for a, like, a personal picture, and then I... So you're looking at the man in the mirror yes. on occasion, then? Thank you, Michael Jackson. Yes, guys. So yes. let me ask you straight up. Do you have an announcement to make? An announcement? No, I'm back from vacation. What announcement would that be, Gary? When, all right, then I'm, you know, we never talk off the air. Just Steve, a credible emailer, said you may have a blessed announcement to make. A blessed announcement? No, I'm not pregnant, although I did gain like eight pounds on vacation, <laughs> Gary. That's from eating grouper and key lime pie every single day. Grouper? Okay. Grouper, I didn't even kiss her. Yes, uh, thank you, Dan. By the way, how are you, Dan? Dan? Doing great, Tony Bruno. Dan, Welcome back. Thank, and I got to give Dan Dibley and Sam Spear credit because I, on the morning when we gave the locks, Gary, you remember that well, the Kentucky Derby <laughs> yes. locks. That was about got, a week ago, right? Or no, Animal actually, Kingdom. Uh, Animal uh, Kingdom, right? Ago. Did yes. Dan Dibley and Sam Spear not both say Animal Kingdom? They both did. Animal Kingdom, they, baby. And did you not mention Mucho Macho Man, or was that Sam Spear? That was me, Tone, uh, part of my super facto that was not so super, but I had him in there. Tone, yeah, more I, to I, the I, point, forget all that crap. You're not getting <laughs> married then? Why would I be getting married, Gary? Right, where, I, where did you get that information? I'm just saying a very credible... I saw a bunch of weddings. You know, in Key West, it's a big... You know, people get married at sunset down there, Gary. Okay, is it nice? And no, I am not getting married now, <laughs> or I will forever hold my peace, Gary. Trust me. You I, why would I get married? Well, that's a bit... Okay, how about engaged? Not engaged? Not, uh... I'm not anything. I'm just doing my thing, Gary. Why would, where would that kind of bogus... Next thing you're going to tell me is Shannon Brown's having an affair with Paul Gasol's girlfriend. <laughs> Wait on, a minute. Gary. Is that true? I hadn't heard that one. Is that true? I guess that's one of the rumors that Wait, was Wait, he's married around. to Monica. You know. Who? Shannon, Shannon Brown? Brown is married to Monica. I know he Monica. is, but I don't know. But there was a rumor. that Remember when the Lakers were playing and there was all you saw Phil Jackson yelling at Paul Gasol and there was dissension in the ranks. Oh, my gosh. You had Bynum talking about how this team's not uh, doesn't have each other's back or doesn't trust one another. And I guess Shannon Brown tweeted over the weekend, Gary, if you're following him on Twitter, which I was, and somebody told me this. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you a question. How does somebody follow? Hey, it's a weekend. I think I'll see what Shannon Brown's up to. Dan, yeah, you, you do this. you follow people, what? you just see everything they post. Why would I mean, you follow Shannon Brown? Why I was on vacation. I, didn't, I don't follow <laughs> Shannon Brown, but I follow Snoop Dogg. I follow a bunch okay. of people. I follow Dan Dibley whenever he posts. All right, but Dan, because we know each other. Dan, why would anyone follow, unless you are a friend? Because I, you find out things. Like, I found out that Pablo Sandoval is excited to read. He joined the team today and work out. <laughs> As so you're not going to get that anywhere else except no on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Alyssa Milano posed uh, for a picture taken by herself of her third trimester belly. Are you serious? Fantastic. Well, that I'd by like the way, to see. Yeah. See, I don't get that. I don't. I don't get the whole holding the phone out like <laughs> yes. this, you know, and then taking a picture of yourself because you can't get your arm out long enough to make it look like your head's not seven million pounds big. Yeah. You know, so I don't get the whole taking a picture of yourself. You know, have somebody take a picture for you. There's a lot of people <laughs> Tony, out there. Tony, using a prop, I like it. That's pretty it's good. my phone. I'm, uh, <laughs> Tom, get your name off my phone or get your name off your phone, as Tiger Woods once said. Hey, by the uh, way, Tone, DT, Don Trump, just announced he will not run in 2012. Well, congratulations, Don, but he will continue to churn out bad episodes of Celebrity Apprentice in the future. Yeah, uh, Tone. I'll actually you... try to get some celebrities to go on Celebrity Apprentice. See, here's the difference when you're married. <laughs> when you're in bed, you use that as a nightlight. When I'm in bed, my wife and I actually watching Celebrity Apprentice last well, night. Well, listen, you know, different strokes. That's why there's a million channels on, Gary. That's why, you know, I'm watching House Hunters International and Ghost Hunters. You're watching uh, Celebrity Apprentice. I, I've got it. Next time, uh, I've got to introduce you to my seven-year-old daughter who watches all those animal channels. She loves them. You know what Great I mean? Great stuff, Gary. That's what I watch. When I'm traveling, I'm down in – I was in St. Augustine. I yeah, did not stop give us, by the give us, your, give us your vacation, all right? Well, I posted them all on my Facebook I know, page. But Many I... great Bay Area people <laughs> followed all the dumb pictures that I posted. But right. I, I flew from Philly to Hilton Head, okay. stopped by the great – Heritage, the Harbor Town, where they just played the Heritage Classic, as you well know, Dan Dibley, not that long, a couple of weeks ago. That's good knowledge. Went up to the lighthouse, asked the lovely Serbian woman there 
if uh, she's seen any ghosts, because I'm big into the paranormal and asking that 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 uh, <laughs> Harbor Town. There is a show on A and E, right? Celebrity Ghosts. Well, there's all kinds of yeah. ghost shows: ghost yeah. ghost adventures, ghost yeah. hunters, ghost hunters international. Uh, I like paranormal cops in Chicago, but that only got a one year run. I don't know why, Gary. <laughs> okay, so then you're wherever you are with a ghost. So I'm in Harbor Town yeah, with okay. the ghost with the Serbian lady, <laughs> and I, I almost mentioned I knew Gary Radunic. Thank you. And he too had uh, Serbo and uh, Croatian background. Kakasi. Yes. Exactly right, yes. All right. And so we're up there, and then I drove around Hilton Head and saw the 8 billion golf courses and 8 billion tennis courts. And then I drove to... Didn't Hilton Head used to be a... I mean, that was like a big deal. It's faded in recent years, but, oh, Hilton Head, South Carolina, you got to go there, huh? No, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. If you love golf and tennis, it's, yeah. the, it's the mecca of golf. But I think it's there still, are more golf courses... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think there are more golf courses per capita than any place in the United States, maybe in the world. There are more golf courses on Hilton Head than any place else that I can think of, Gary. Okay, all right. Let's so go to our golf expert, a man who doesn't or does not like facial hair on the PGA Tour, Dan Dibley. Dan. Yeah, I think uh, square inch, <laughs> pound for pound tone, you may be right. Hilton Head, your reigning champion. You been there, Dan? No, Gary, but I'd love to. It's a golfing mecca, and I love golf. By the way, uh, Tone, Dan... Are you hooked on golf, though, Dan? That's what I want to know. Thank you, well, Mitch and John, yeah, you every bought... Sunday. Yeah, they better pay for the ads or they won't be hooked. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, Tone, Dan Dibley shocked us. Or, or, or shocked me. No. He did not have K.J. Choi winning uh, down at the TPC <laughs> where I just actually drove by there the other oh, day. God. K.J., this. He said Oprah was worthless as a talent. Correct, Dan? Yes, as a uh, television entertainer, in my opinion. Dan, also, he gave the caveat. She did a lot of great things for people. Tremendous uh, charitable donations. But as a straight performer, he called. He had the guts to say it. And I, I don't stand behind him, but I admire his... His guts. He said Oprah is worthless. Your thoughts? Well, when you make three hundred fifty million a year, you can't be worthless. But I agree with him as far as that. But you know what? She's got. She had legs, so to speak. Yeah. She did it. You know, she was one of those PM magazine hosts who that turned her show into a national thing. Was smart enough and savvy enough to buy all to own everything. That's why she makes all this money. She owns her property. She's not working for some company where they make all the money and she gets a piece of it. She makes a lot of money, and she got a great following, and she's done it for 25 years, and God bless her. But yeah. uh, do I find her shows entertaining? No. The I don't watch it. Well, the I can't reason watch her, it. Uh, it came up is that the uh, Bulls and Heat cannot practice there uh, uh, because they're taking over the United Center for her last two shows, which will be uh, taped on Tuesday. So Oprah's bigger than the Bulls and Heat? Yes. Well, of wow. course. Well, I know that she's bigger <laughs> than course. the Bulls and Heat in Miami. I was on mm -hmm. South Beach Friday night, Gary. Game yeah. Could the clinching game for the Bulls, right? I mean, for the Heat. Right. Against the Boston Celtics, game being played there in Miami, and all the big screens are on, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, if the Miami Heat win tonight, this is going to be a – I think it was Thursday. It was Thursday night, if, if I'm not mistaken. Was it Thursday when they clinched? When they clinched, they uh, no, there might have been uh... – Wednesday night. Wednesday night, yeah. Wednesday, whenever it was, it was Wednesday night. I'm in Miami. I'm on South Beach at the Cleveland. Yeah, Wednesday having night. A cocktail. Wednesday night. Okay. Having a cocktail, which you can see the pictures of on my Facebook page. TonyBruno.com? No, no, no. Go to Tony Bruno Show on Facebook. Okay, Everything, right. We have a lot of followers right. on there. I don't post anything on the Gary page anymore because nobody goes there. It's an outrage. It is an outrage. Go ahead. So anyway, I'm, I'm sitting there, and there's the and DJs. Thank you. It's, it's 6 <laughs> o'clock. And the DJ's up there, the big screen, the Cleveland, there, the swimming pool, the whole bit. And he said, hey, coming up at 7, we're less than an hour away from the Bulls, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, uh, okay. And I know there's a lot of tourists there, but there's a lot of tourists in San Francisco. There's a lot of tourists in Philly. And on a clinching night when your team is the most hyped-up team in NBA history in the Chicago and the, and the Miami Heat, wouldn't you think there could be a palpable buzz going on that night? So I go with Joe Stonecrab, and it was the last week of stone crabs because, you know, they're out of season after May 15th. You cannot get fresh stone crab until uh, October 15th when they're back in season, as you well know, Gary, having been probably to Joe Stonecrab in Miami. Oh, Beach that, you have to go to Joe's. That's, that's Great restaurant. Fact, Al Davis, that's his favorite restaurant when he's and in Miami. And it's not a tourist restaurant. You know, there's a lot of touristy places that you don't go to. Joe's is a great, great restaurant. Hi, I'm Gary Rabinich. Crab. Whenever I need crabs, thank you. I go to. <laughs> I, I thought you'd go down yet. to Grotto Number Nine to get your Dungeness crab. These, of course, are stone crab. Which we are were indigenous. just there on Friday night, Tone. They don't have stone crabs. They have the Dungeness, which are, yeah. of course. Uh, but, but anyway, your point was the, people weren't paying people attention. People weren't. No, to and then the heat. So the heat win, and you're thinking, wow, it's going to be a party, crazy atmosphere, right? It's Miami Beach. It's South Beach. There are a couple guys wearing heat shirts. You see, you saw one car go down. The uh, Ocean Drive with a couple of heat flags honking, and then most of the people were like, "What's he doing?" 
I mean, you could not tell that the Miami Heat knocked out the Boston Celtics on a Wednesday night in South Beach. Yeah, but I t- thought that was pretty amazing. So that wasn't that was a semifinal round. You it know? doesn't matter. You're the one of the best teams. You go into Philly, go into this when the Giants won and they beat the Phillies. There are people celebrating. Yeah. It's not that you've won the World Series, but when you got the hype. And remember, who's been hyped more than the Miami Heat and the Big Three, Gary? Seriously. No, nobody. In fact, they, they, you could make a case, not that they've saved the NBA, but they've been the number one story no this year. It. You're yeah. absolutely right. So yeah. you would think in Miami, clinching night, you beat the Boston Celtics. You're not beating the Atlanta oh, Hawks. Oh, it's a semifinal round. But it's not the Atlanta Hawks. It's the Boston Celtics. You're knocking out Where the Where were you pool. in the Sharks, speaking of semifinal rounds, knocked off the Detroit Red Wings? I was, uh, I was somewhere in Florida. One of the biggest Saint nights in Bay Area sports in the absolutely. last 10 years. I I was, the, I was somewhere in South Beach or St. Augustine or Savannah or Key Largo. Yeah, I don't so know where I was, What's so great about Savannah? I keep hearing uh, Savannah's great. Brent Musburger. Brent Musburger has a house in Savannah. It's a beautiful, beautiful city, Gary. The history there is amazing. It's a great historic town. Everybody talks about the birthplace of America, Philly, Boston, up and down. But you go down into Savannah, Georgia. St. Augustine is the oldest city in America, Gary. Yeah. There are buildings there from the 1500s that still stand. Let me it's ask you straight up. And, Dan, yes. are you ready? If if uh, Oprah was a a skinnier woman, attractive woman, but just skinny, would she have the same audience? You know what I mean? Is it people related to her? Cause she no, talked because about she her gained weight, weight but yeah. no, but she did. She had she talked about her weight problem. You know, spend whatever, get all the experts in. She'd lose twenty pounds and talk about how great no, she is, and then she'd put it back on. And that's what people like about her is that she talked about. And I hate to go too deep, but she the fact she talked about being raped as a child and uh, all that stuff that a lot of us wouldn't talk about. No, you're and, right, Gary. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt she's an icon, one of the biggest uh, celebrities in the history of the world, one of the most successful women ever, regardless of race, color, creed, or anything. She's an amazing mark. But she's a, she, she's she's a big, tremendous talent. And for Dan to say he doesn't see the talent. I don't know if I call that tremendous talent, Gary. I mean, she's got, she's got staff. She's got hundreds of people assisting her. I tell you, I lost a lot of respect for Oprah with the Drew Bla- with the with the uh, with uh, who was it? The quarterback uh, Drew Brees. Yeah. When Drew Brees wins the Super Bowl, Thanks. goes on Oprah and she tries to wipe the birthmark off her face, Great and knowledge. she's got a staff of a hundred people, sycophants, who give her every question, <laughs> who get, pour water for her, who do everything but go to the bathroom and breathe for her. Yeah. You can't make that kind of mistake and call yourself an amazing talent. I'm sorry, Gary. That's just bad preparation and bad knowledge of a super. I know she's not a sports person, but you got to know that Drew Brees has a birthmark on her on his face when you're bringing him on and you're doing that wow 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 thing and you take out a napkin and try to wipe his face oh, it's that's embarrassing gary Hang am on. i wrong here dan Dibley? are <laughs> you're you 100 right tony and i'll add another <laughs> layer to this she turned her back on the hip-hop community vilifying those uh brothers and sisters well, of hers well she couldn't turn her back but jay-z just went on with her so you know well he's not really in the hip-hop community anymore gary. but yeah, <laughs> he's crossed yeah, over it's very good in fact that's what um what was it what's his partner the little partner with him uh come on Ooh, with, used with to Jay-Z? be with jay-z remember he had the partner and he said uh well, of course, he did the great song with the no, J-Lo. No, not Nas. Mike and yelling the... Nas. No, 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 no. Nas. Come on. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know who Jay-Z's partners are. We all are. know who it is. Jerry all Owens. I know is that LeBron James rang up a $172,000 bar tab last but, Wednesday night, and I wasn't in the bar with him when they beat the Boston Celtics. Uh, wait a minute. I'm hundred... taking my liver to South Beach, yeah. Tom, is what he <laughs> said. Wait a minute. <laughs> it it wasn't 172000 Yes, it was. I have it. Somebody actually has a copy. This is the... The original copy uh, when they bring out the bar no tab. No wonder people hate him. They're all jealous. Who else can run up a tab like Let's that? Let's see. He had one table, 33 Cristals at 1800 apiece. Okay. Six bottles of Patron <laughs> at 1450 That's uh, eight dollars Silver, I assume. Yeah. yeah. No, it's at Patron Flat. Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, oh, Tone. Oh, this platinum. Shit. That would be Platinum. Patron Platinum yeah. at eight at fourteen fifty. Twenty-two 22 small bottles of Fiji water at 8 bucks a pop, Gary. Whew. Man. One bottle of Dom at twenty five grand. One bo- one more bottle of Chris because the thirty three Chris. Wait, one go. bottle was twenty five grand. That's what it says. But well, that's just somebody showing off. They're going to drink twenty five thousand dollars. Oh, it's a six liter, so it must be the big bottle. Uh, okay. Oh, in that Is case, that the, yeah. worth every the Magnum penny. Tone. Yes, yeah. the Magnum. for her pleasure. Six, <laughs> six L, and then a bottle of Chris is six L oh, was fifty God. grand. Woo. Two Fiji six buckets at forty eight. One Magnum of Grey Goose at six hundred twenty five. This is what I like. Two Red Bull six packs at forty eight dollars a six pack of Red Bull. Yeah, forty eight dollars for six Red Bulls. 
Five more bottles of, uh, I don't know what that is, 2,900. 12 Bud Bud Lights, Uh, 12 more Red Bulls. The (laughs) subtotal is $159,097, tax $12,843. The total without tip, $171,937, Gary. Which actually was the total after tip, too, Tone. No, 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 the tip was actually on top of that. The tip. You got to throw on another twenty five grand. I pray, probably to. rounded it off to two hundred thousand dollars, Gary. By the way, somebody just so I can sleep tonight. His partner, when they they sold Rockefeller, he got half of it. You know, come on, Dan. You know who his partner was. Anyway, he was saying it's hard to negotiate. LeBron used to you know negotiate against management. Now he is management. He's buddies with all the people he does business with. So there you go. And again, I'm not criticizing him. If he wants to spend 200 grand on a bar tab, God bless him. I mean, that's nothing to him. That's like me going into Joe Stone Crab and dropping 250 on a nice dinner with the key lime pie and the works. Are you talking about Damon Dash, Gary? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Damon Dash. That's it, of course. Of course. I only know Stacy Dash, of course. Uh, yeah, making fabulous, a comeback, fabulous. Tone, at age 43. Yeah, beautiful. I always love Stacy Dash, one of the hottest women ever. Still <laughs> is, Tone. What's that? She has not lost much off her fastball. She's still at 92 <laughs> on the lap. By the way, this is just in, Dan. Robert in Redwood it's gonna City. Look, it's gonna look. He said uh, he loves Deb, but. Mike! But I'm sorry. How, how can you say <laughs> that Oprah is, is useless? I agree. Worthless, Stan. Worthless, not useless. Let's okay, be accurate. Well, he put, well, he put Except useless. to Stedman. To Stedman, she's useless, apparently. But, <laughs> Great uh, knowledge. All Thank right. you. But he says Fear sitting the on the couch, kibitzing, sounds an awful lot, Dan, like what you and Gary do. Her audience would probably say the same thing about you, and I don't think you've done anywhere near the nice things for audience. So give it up. How about giving us some of your favorite things, Dan Dibley? Give it up. What's some of your favorite? By the way, my man Aris just texted, it is Damon Dash. Damon so a lot Dash. of people now on the Damon Dash line. Not the Damon Bruce oh, lines. Yeah, Those yeah. Are, that'll be later on today here yeah. on KMBR. Oh, yeah. By the way, Tony, Aaron in Redwood City wants to tell us why the Chicago Bulls and Miami Heat are not practicing at the United Center. Go Practice. ahead, Aaron. What? Again, is there a you, Rob Emanuel pep, 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 pep oh, conference or something? I don't know what's very going good on. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Eman- Mayor Emanuel to you, Tom. That is right. Mayor Rom. Uh, go ahead, Aaron. Uh, why did Oprah book the United Center? What's going on, fellas? Yeah, right on, right on. <laughs> Reason being is that uh, Oprah paid to have the United Center reserved a year ago. So, you know, in other words, the you know, Bulls can't just you know opt out of the contract. They signed uh, she was just a, this, so that she paid. determined that the uh, that the Chicago, like the Montreal Canadiens <laughs> rented out their uh, Bell Center to Lady Gaga in in April, thinking that they wouldn't possibly be in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So let's have Lady Gaga take over our hockey arena. All right. So anyway, yeah, Aaron, yeah go ahead, Aaron. Aaron what? That's, that's the reason why she signed an ironclad contract, and she already paid to have the United Center reserved. But don't you think because this is the Eastern Conference Finals, she might say, well, I can move somewhere else? Oh, she's too self-important. Why does she need to be in the United Center? Why can't she just do it in her studio so all the celebrities can come in and kiss her big ass? Because when you you have 2,000 Cinco fans in a studio, Gaga over you, not Lady Gaga, as opposed to 20,000 screaming housewives, what would you rather do? When you have the more people to kiss your ass, isn't that a better way to do well, it? Well, can I yeah, just Gary, say, I can I be the one I voice of reason? Lineup? Hang on a second. Aaron, Dan, Tony. <laughs> she is, at, this is her 25th year. Yes. She is bigger to the city of Chicago than the Chicago Bulls playing the Miami Heat. Oh, I don't no know way. about that, Gary. I no disagree way. with you. Yeah, no, no way, oh, Gary. Oh, Tony. The Bulls, the Bulls more, bring in way more money than Oprah does. You're way off on that. Oprah list. doesn't even Wait. spend any time there, Gary. She Wait. doesn't even live there. She's got 80 oh, million on homes. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Montecito. She lives primarily Montecito. She, doesn't even she lives out there in Gary's now. neck of the woods in Thank Santa you. Barbara. That's out why there Gary Montecito. supports her, Tony. Gary, Gary, come on. You're more knowledgeable. You're bad knowledge. No way. The Bulls sell out every single game. No, no. I didn't say about money. I'm just saying when I say bigger, I would say... There is more interest in the city. Let's just confine to the city not, of Gary. Chicago. Uh, Jerry oh. Springer has Jerry Springer. You could say Jerry Springer's more meant more to Chicago he's too now, because he does his show there. No, he's now he taping in Connecticut. Chicago Tone, poor knowledge on your part. But uh, Tony, wait a minute. You tell me. You walk down the street and yell Taj Gibson. You're going to get as many responses as you do for Oprah. Yes, right oh. now, absolutely, oh. Gary. Oh. Come on. 
Most people don't even know Oprah's is, in Chicago. They sit a, down and turn the TV set on. It doesn't matter where she takes the show. This is the 25th anniversary. Now, Michael Jordan's 25th anniversary, I'd agree with you, but not uh, Tom Thibodeau. Good God. Derek, you're, no, Derek Rose, you have the MVP, the most electric flying player in the league. How big are, are you, Aaron? Because I'm in a mind to just to beat up some. How big are you? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Six one, man. Why risk it? Aaron, okay, has, called, Aaron right. has called in before with great knowledge on this. He's show, a yeah. fabulous performer, but just to say that for the city of Chicago, the average person walking down the street, oh. you can go to Chicago right now, Gary. Yeah, yeah. walk down any street and, and say Chicago Bulls or Oprah. Most people oh. walking down the street don't even know who Oprah is, other than by name. You are. They don't watch her show. You know all this you talk are about dealing Oprah to a Sol narrow Oprah. demographic. Tone. You look Open at her, her numbers. Eyes. Look at her, her. Look at all the stuff she does outside of the Oprah Winfrey show. All of her movies are bombed. She, you know, she's an amazing performer beloved and an amazing Bob, success beloved story. Beloved Bob, but she was wasn't she in the one she got beat up in a movie, right? The that color purple, good. Gary. Thank she you, was Dan. just Thank terrific. You. But that was Nobody. earlier in her career. That's not because she was Oprah Winfrey. Okay. That was because it was a good movie. Let me just ask you guys both. We're both going to be very calm about this. Dude, you mean to tell me? Thank you, Aaron. All, okay, all three of us. By the way, how about the Bulls winning by 21 yesterday, Gary, in game one of the Eastern Conference Tom, Finals? In the city of Chicago, the Tom Thibodeau Chicago Bulls Ugh. are more popular than somebody who's represented yes. your city for 25 Absolutely, years. Absolutely, Gary. Oh. Absolutely. Because as I told you in Miami, you walk around Miami, oh. the Miami Heat, the most hyped team in sports history, walk around South Beach, you didn't even know the Heat are playing. Well, that's and the they point, have this games on everywhere. Maybe. You go into Chicago, you go to Chicago, Gary, oh. and you walk around in Chicago, everybody knows the Chicago Bulls are playing. Now I guarantee you a lot of people don't even realize Oprah's taping her last shows there. They don't, mm. that's not top of mind stuff. Oprah's big, but she's not that big, Gary. Well, she is big now, but I, I think she'll do a dieting show at the end in her last game they, they show next week. <laughs> Aaron, next week. you're going to give you the last word, as O'Reilly would say. Yes. Aaron, are gone. you through? Goodbye. Oh, okay. Well, we, we Bye-bye, have... Salinas. Okay, I've never been. Than... Go ahead, Aaron. people there. Why are they wasting the arena like this? There's going to be less than 10,000 people there. It's a whole waste of an arena. What do you mean they're, that, that, what do you mean they're going to have 10,000? Whatever it seats, they'll have people sitting on the floor. You know top why people will show up? You know why they'll fill it up? It's because free. they all think they're going to get something for free. That's uh, why. Uh, they'll all be looking under their chairs to Listen. see whether they got a free damn car. Uh, That's why those people go. We give away have... free stuff. We'll draw 100,000 people, too. People want free stuff, Gary. Do we have anybody That's who's why from Oprah... Chicago? I don't want it just a guy taking a guess out here. <laughs> if you're from Ch Tony, I've never been more right about anything we've argued about. Dan, this is no joke. Gary, I've been to Chicago a million times. I have been a million times. People in Chicago but, yeah. don't really care about when, when Jerry Springer was taping a show in the building in which he lived, as you well know. Yes. Let's test your Chicago now. Where I'm, did Jerry Springer live, He's in Gary? Connecticut now. You know, he, yeah. was, he, he was a mayor of in, Cincinnati, then got in a jam. Then he's in Chicago now. I don't know where he lived. More where, people went to Chicago and stood in line for tapings of the Jerry Springer show than did for the Oprah show, Gary. Oh, come and on. I was there you, you for many prove, of the tapings. You can prove I was that? there for it, Gary. Oh, my God. I need I'm somebody telling you, from man, Chicago. It's really hard to get into a Jerry Springer tape. It was, you know, 10 years ago yeah, when he yeah. was in Chicago. Oh, but, but Springer? But, but he was the first before Povich to do, hi, uh, guess who pregnated my daughter, exactly. right? No, Maury's okay. turned that into an art form. All right. Aaron, do you have anything else to say? <laughs> By the way, Giants, Gary, your thoughts. I despite all the problems, despite the injuries, oh. they're still hanging in there in first place, Gary. And they've got uh, Lincecum pitching tonight against Tracy Ringlesby's Colorado Rockies. All right. And I saw that. I saw the cowboy hat with Tracy Ringlesby. That's good Tracy Ringlesby knowledge, Gary. And the Giants, I tell you, you're still not ready to say that the Giants are on par with your Phillies, right? Well, I mean, the Phillies aren't hitting, and they still have the best record in the National League, Gary, and have had half their lineup. I know the yeah. Giants have had injuries, too, but, you know, the to me, they're two pretty good ball clubs, and the Phillies offensively are like 19th in the league, yet they have the best record, well, so they don't the score a lot of runs. Here's the thing about the Giants. They have not one person is hitting real well. Dan, they don't have one guy that you'd say, man, he's, he's in a hot streak or he's having a good all-around year. It's great analysis, Gary. Way to get in deep with no, the topic. But tell me one. Tell yes. me one. You nailed it, Gary. None of them are hitting well. That's exactly, and they're still in first place. But Oprah, go ahead, John, in Santa What's Cruz. What's the record in one-run games, Gary? Do you have that in front of you? It's got to be fabulous. They're good because they've got the MVP in Brian Wilson. Well, what's up with Balmy, Gary? Do we call him uh, Maddie or Balmy with Madison Baumgartner? I don't know whether you chose a nickname. We call him Owen Six. Well, John I know we call Santa him. Cruz, you're, a, you're on KMBR. Yes, John. Oh, 
John, bring some sanity to this program. Go, John. Nothing like three guys talking about Oprah Winfrey on a Monday. No, it was four. You're not belittling that previous caller oh, who okay. started. Yes, John. <laughs> Regarding Oprah Winfrey, a lot of people believe that the reason why Dave Chappelle walked away from the $50 million in season three of The Chappelle Show was because Oprah Winfrey had helped Dave Chappelle get to where he was, and she didn't like the way he was depicting black people in the show. So that was basically a mafioso-type hit that was going out on him, and he quit. He walked away from the $50 million. And you can actually do it. Wait, wait a minute. Did that Oprah put out a hit on Chappelle? Yes, yeah, because she didn't like the way that he was depicting black people, but it felt natural, and, and the show was a hit. So, and you can actually Google it. Google Dave Chappelle. Tony, have you heard of that? Movie. Oprah putting no, a hit I mean, on I, Chappelle. I know that Dave Chappelle turned down $50 million, but I didn't know he did it at gunpoint. I thought he did it because he <laughs> didn't want to <laughs> do it anymore. I didn't want to have the. Who did she, she send over, Tone? Gail or Stedman with a gun? I think Gail would probably be. The Stedman couldn't pull off a hit, I don't think. <laughs> She might have taken offense to the uh, Dave Gets Oprah Pregnant skit from back in 2004. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh. Which was a genius bit of comedy. Yeah, that is genius. You're a genius, All right, Dan, so anyway, Tone, says. you leave the keys, yeah. and yes, where do you, you go, Tone? Where's next on the vacation? You leave the keys? I'm actually going on vacation in another couple of weeks, Gary. Jeez. I'm uh, going away back. Uh, Hopefully and, not permanently. Who does that? Who yeah. knows? You never know in this business. That's why you got to save her every day off, Gary. That's why I save her every day that I work. Oh, you miss a little bit. Tell the truth. By Thursday, you're saying, I miss talking to my audience. No, I'm, I love, I, I stay in touch. They're just like Hugh Downs before they had Twitter <laughs> yes. and before they had email, when you used to have to write a letter to, to Hugh Downs and, yes. and Barbara Walters on 2020 on exactly. a Friday night on ABC. You'd be in touch. Now you can be in yeah. touch when you're on vacation. When I'm not on my scooter riding through the streets of uh, Duval Street and all the great areas down in the Florida Keys. Having key did you rent a scooter with... while you were gone? I did rent a scooter. What a, a guy. Great, great way to go around uh, Key West, guy. I recommend it. Thirty-five bucks a day, and you can go everywhere. And, you know, and this is parking. what a little Vespa. A little Vespa. Actually, I have it right here. It's a Kimco. Uh, they, they, uh, Kimco right here. I actually picked up a brochure. I may be buying one of these babies. Wow. Okay. We're looking for a trade out. If there's a Kimco dealer listening, yeah. I like one of these little Kimcos, please. Well, let's, let's practice. See how they like it. Tony Bruno. Whenever he wants whenever to get I'm around the city. Whenever I'm looking for a scooter. Yeah. I'm looking for a Kimco yeah. <laughs> from Spartanburg, South Carolina. And you don't have to worry about parking with a Kimco. You can park wherever you yeah, want. That, yeah, that's great. I parked everywhere. I, I didn't have to worry about parking. I didn't have to worry about being clogged in the street. You just move in and out. You get in. And you get out, Gary. And remember, yes. fellas, nothing's cooler than when, you, when you're in shorts and you say, Hi, baby, want to wanna test my Kimco? Then you can meet a lot of girls that way. It's great. Exactly right. Hell, exactly I ought to get one. Right. All right, Tone. Very good. Uh, well, welcome back. Mike, Thank what are you, you like? What are you looking at, Mike? <laughs> Gary, start with a cell phone and then get a scooter. Oh my God! Oh! What a shot! All right. Now, you know why, Tone? And I'll tell you right to your face. <laughs> if I want to take a picture, I'll get a camera, not a phone. No, these cameras are great. You can take a picture with the and the pictures that my camera takes <laughs> on this Sprint uh, HTC Evo <laughs> yes. are better than is most that cameras. The, is that the only phone Tony Bruno uses? This is the when only phone that Francisco. I pay two hundred dollars a month <laughs> Thank for. You. Gary. Actually, ninety nine ninety nine. <laughs> And the uh, CEO Sprint. Joe, the only Actually, picture I... I've seen posted is you pointing to a peak in Colada, or whatever the hell it is. Huh? You have other no, pictures? No, I got pictures of the lighthouse right. in St. Augustine. Right. I got pictures of everything, Gary. All right, all right. Savannah, Georgia. So when did Savannah, you get home? Samson. When did you get home? Yeah. I got home late last night, Gary. Wow. I actually feel good. I mean, I'm ready. I'm back east coast, west coast. No rap wars anymore, Gary. I'm now back on west coast time. All right. Well, again, the Giants have Timmy going to the mound tonight. Timmy tonight, and then, of course, the Sharks. They'll bounce back, though. I love the exclusive Dan uh, Sedin. Which, uh, Henrik Sedin, which one was it, Dan? Henrik Sedin, Tony. It was a Gary Radnich exclusive. Yeah, Dan, Dan gives me the Sedin brothers whenever we, whenever we want to It's a market exclusive, Tony. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Tony. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you, guy. We'll see you tomorrow. And congratulations, Tony, from all of us here at the Sports Leader. And <laughs> hope what? we get the invite. For something I'm that not didn't getting happen. I don't yet. know. That's the worst rumor ever. <laughs> yeah. That's worse, that's, the worst, that's worse than any of the Oprah rumors. Yeah, okay. It's not true yeah. at all. Lincecum. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, hang on. Let me hear. What do you have, Mike? Shannon Brown sleeping with uh, Paul Gasol's the girlfriend Lincecum. is a better rumor. Yeah, but what about Monica? Beat the, you ever see Monica? She got enough tattoo. Beat the That's hell out of him. Why he's tweeting over the weekend that he was not sleeping of with? Of course uh, not. Paul I don't Gasol. believe it. I don't believe it. You don't the cheat Lincecum. on Monica. Okay, the girl is mine. All right, Joe. 
Stone. We so will. Uh, <laughs> now I'm stealing from Pauly Mac, right, Dan? Absolutely. Pauly Mac did a pretty cute song about Lincecum, and I just got in there. Here it is. Here's here's Pauly. Yeah, all right. Lincecum. You just can't write lyrics like that anymore, guys. You know, Tone. One day, Dan and I are going to walk in and tell the tell Lincecum. management we're tired of sucking up to the Giants. And then we're going to be you know, fired together. Yes. I haven't right. heard that kind of brilliant pro since I just went to the Ernest Hemingway home down there in Fort uh, in, in the Key West. Oh God! Wait, so you didn't just lie on a beach. You were no. I didn't history. lie. I, I got to get active. I got to move around. Gary. On your Vespa. On my no. On my Kimco. Kimco. The what? only way way I go <laughs> is the <this> Kimco. <laughs> the fabulous bro. So we'll talk with you tomorrow and uh, right. safe travels and good parking. Thank uh, you, Gary. Congrats, right. Tone. Tony Bruno, the only Vespa he rides is a Kimco <laughs> on these sports leaders. <laughs> oh, my God. Good to have the fabulous one back, though. No, that's, like, that's like losing a leg when you don't have Tony. Mike, you guy's a freaking genius. He is a genius. Thanks. As I steal. <laughs> that's a, no, it's true, though. No, he's fat. He did nobody better again. Go to Tony Bruno Facebook and look at Tony holding himself on vacation. On yes. On these sports leaders.